a group of nonprofits are coming together to create a resource center for migrants seeking asylum. With the influx of migrants, CBS4's Mike Jimenez tells us how this new facility will make it easier for those nonprofits to help out. We don't have money. We don't have anything to drink. They have given us everything we need, water, cookies, milk for the baby, and diapers. When migrants seeking asylum are dropped off at the Brownsville bus station, they often come with just the clothes on their backs. The nonprofits and volunteers are there to help. Basic needs for uh, traveling and try to make them as comfortable as we can. Uh, give back really the humanity that they have and they deserve. Nonprofits have set up a temporary spot at the bus terminal and everyday volunteers, many of them elderly, must transport boxes of supplies. Now a new center directly across the street will make it easier for them to lend a helping hand. Being able to have a centralized location as an office and storage is going to, it's, it's going to be a big help. The city of Brownsville is leasing the office space to the nonprofits at no cost. Renovations are now underway. Right here we can have lawyers working on I-94s. Over here we can have uh, people printing and getting documents ready. There's plenty of space in the back. Volunteers say the need for assistance is nonstop, and the new center will allow them to continue their mission. I feel really emotional being here. I never imagined that in this country there were such giving people. Working for you in Brownsville, I'm Mike Menace.